Alright, what's up guys? It's Lucas here back with another video for you guys and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can 10x the amount of online leads you are getting with this one simple strategy in 2020. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. So, um, Alright, so who is this video for? This video is going to be for people like um, real estate agents, it's going to be for like financial advisors, financial planners insurance agents and you know even all the way to you know industries like production film production crews right you can um, i mean video production companies this strategy works for all industries and just hear me out just hear me out so the problem with most people when um So the, the problem with most businesses when they run their social media ads, when they run their Google ads, their Facebook ads, they usually go straight to the entree, the main course, right? And usually the main course is like what? A, a $3,000 service or like a $4,000 service, $5,000 service, you know, for, um, especially when you're talking about real estate, real estate, uh, your transaction, your average transactions are like in the hundreds of thousands, right? And for financial advisors, it, just getting... Getting even getting a um, an appointment for a meetup is also really difficult. So instead of running your that that's the problem, right? Because you are trying to get the sale when people don't know you, they don't trust you, and they might not necessarily like you also. So when you do that, what happens is that your ad cost goes really really high, and um, you it's either you become a very very you know amazing marketer like you you know have the world's best copywriter the best um, Facebook ads buyer and all that kind of stuff which is really difficult right so that is the there's a problem that most businesses face when they try to run their Facebook and Google ads and uh, YouTube app YouTube ads and all that kind of stuff right so the solution what is the solution the solution is actually this thing called the value ladder so if you look on the on the on the axis that goes up, it it has value, and uh, the other axis is price, right? So what this does is that what the value ladder does is actually it shows you uh, a diagram of how you can help your dream customer ascend your value ladder. In now in the in in a perfect world, we would engage a customer and immediately sell them our most expensive product but the problem with that is that most people most people will not do that because they don't know you they don't like you and they don't trust you so how you do that is you will want to um, start off with a small product right instead of let, let's let's um, let me give you the example of a dentist right so instead of um, going straight to selling the patient a cosmetic product i mean a, pro a cosmetic surgery or a procedure what you want to do you want to provide something like in this diagram see what what you should do is um you know provide free teeth cleaning first once and and you do a really good job at free teeth cleaning and once you once they have done that you move them up and uh, hopefully you've done a good job You've done a good enough job and maybe you can help them do their fillings right and from there you move on to a next more expensive um, process which is like maybe a root canal procedure or like crowns doing their crowns for them and then finally you sell them the package for cosmetic work and this is I hope this this is making sense so far so let me give you another example of um, what a value ladder looks like so this person over here, his name is Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is a life coach, personal development guru, and um, just a really amazing person all around. And if you if you follow him on um, social media, you know that he has a this podcast, right? It's called the Tony Robbins Podcast, and it is absolutely free, right? So people think that the value ladder actually starts where they start paying but actually no because once the value ladder begins once they consume something that you are providing right that is what we like to call the buy-in once they listen to your podcast they have actually bought into your concepts your teachings your um all that kind of stuff right so for tony robbins at the very very bottom of his um value ladder is this free podcast that he provides right so once you are done with the podcast and if you like it 
what's the next logical step that um, you would do? You want to find out more about him. You want to know more about his teachings and all that kind of stuff, right? So you, the next step in his value ladder is actually his books, right? Which if which he has written like many many of them. So the book cost I I don't know maybe nineteen twenty maybe thirty dollars depending on where you are. And let's say that you really, really, really like the book and you want more from this person, right? You want more from Tony Robbins. The next logical step you will take is actually going to his live event. His um, Unleash the Power Within is a four-day um, live coaching event. I don't really know how to de- uh, describe the event, but it's just um, from what I've I've never been to it, but from what I heard, it's absolutely life changing, right? And I I honestly believe in that too. I'm definitely gonna go if I have the chance, too. But that that's beyond the point. The point is you want to do such a good job at the book, and they want to consume more, so they will go to they'll buy more from you. They'll buy a more expensive product from you, and that's exactly what Unleash the Power does, right? Unleash the Power is um. The Power Within is a event, a live event that costs anywhere I think between five hundred to one thousand um, USD to attend. Right. So then again, guess what's coming up next? The ladder does not stop here. Once if if you find that you got so much value from Unleash the Power from Within, there is a next event that Tony Robbins offers. I think maybe uh, once or twice per year. It's called a date with destiny now remember how i said unleash the power win was 500 anywhere between 500 to 1000 usd date with destiny starts at 5000 usd right so can you see the difference now from a free podcast to a 30 dollar book to a 500 dollar event then now a 5000 dollar event and then do you think this is the end no it's not the end at the very very top of tony robbins funnel of his um, value ladder is actually a private coaching um, session or you get a private coaching retreat with him in his private island at in Fiji. So Tony Robbins has this private island on Fiji. So the, the idea is that you, you guys will be flown over to the island and you guys just spend um, maybe a small group or maybe even one-on-one spend really close time with Tony Robbins and um, he'll do he'll work his magic with you guys he will provide his coaching for you um with you guys right so how much is that i don't know but i think people pay really really good money to be there with tony robbins in person (coughs) 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 Uh, right so that is what a value ladder looks like now let me bring you back to the very first question assuming let's just assume that his private coaching on his private island is a hundred thousand usd product and if tony robbins had tried to sell you that product at the first go once uh, the first time he met you right without you consuming his um, podcast his books his events and all that kind of stuff even even give, given how amazing this person is, would you have bought the hundred thousand dollar private coaching from Tony Robbins? The chances are, I would say, very slim to none, right? So that is what the value ladder does for you. It helps your customers ascend your value ladder, so you can help them go from uh, you know, not knowing you, not trusting you, and not liking you, all the way to being your ultimate raving fan who will buy anything you sell right so that's what the value ladder does so i want you guys to consider this right think about this what is something that your company is already doing that you could give away for free right so i'm going to bring you back to the tony robbins example so if you think about it the Tony Robbins podcast, if you've actually, um, if you listen to it, you realize that the Tony Robbins podcast is actually nothing but um, recordings of him giving coaching or him interviewing people. Now, these are things that he is already doing on a daily basis. He is not doing anything extra out of um, 
his daily routine. He's not doing anything. He's not going, um, going through like great troubles to make this podcast, right? And does it still deliver value? Oh hell yeah! I think it did. It delivers um, a lot of value. And the idea here is you don't have to. You don't have to make it very troublesome. It does not have to be troublesome. It does not need to be. You don't have to go out of your way to provide value, right? Most people think that oh, okay, now I need to provide value. Okay, I must find out this new fancy way to do this, and you know I must uh, hire new people to do this, do that. But no, just find something that your business is already doing, and then repurpose it to give value to your dream customers. Right, so my suggestion here is to create a free information product for your dream customers to consume. So let's say you are in the industry of health and wellness. Uh, maybe you have a you are a yoga you are you have a yoga gym, right? If you have a yoga studio, right? So what you want to do is maybe you can um, create a free PDF or free report on the top ten stretches you can do at home. Or maybe the ten ways to get started with meditation, right? You put it, you you make a nice PDF, you put it into a downloadable form, and then you tell people, hey, if you're interested in finding out how you can get started with yoga, how you can start with you can get started with all of this stuff, I have a free report for you. Go get that downloaded, and once they consume, and then you lead them on to the next step, right? You show them, all right. So if you want to find out more about yoga you want to find out more about mindfulness and all that kind of stuff i have this amazing um you know free trial or like a free session a free i don't know it's up to you to be creative right send them to your give them an address to go down to your place your studio or all that kind of stuff and um let me give you another example let's say you are in the in the Right, so so basically, in any, if you break down all the industries, there's basically just three industries, three main industries, right? That is your health, wealth, and um, health, wealth, and relationship industry, right? So I, I I just gave an example of the health industry, right? So let's do a wealth industry. So let's say you are a financial advisor. What you can do, you can come up with a free report, uh, in, that will help you. Uh, calculate your monthly expenses, or something like this, or like ten tips to help you grow your money without um, exposing yourself to too much risk, or a comparison between products, you know, financial products for your dream clients, all that kind of stuff. Now that might not be. I know I said that you want to do something that you're already doing, but um, here's the idea: you just want to do. In the case of the financial advisor, you might not be creating a report on a daily basis, but think about it. Your the effort that you put in is a one-time effort, and it's just you're gonna put it out there, and you don't need to do any more work for people to consume it. So sometimes it is okay to just um put in a little bit of time to put out something good for people to consume. And you know what? At the end of uh the report, what you can do is you can say that hey um if you want to find out more. You can arrange a discovery call, or you can arrange for a meet up with me, and I can share more with you, right? So that's the entire idea of um, having the value ladder, right? Instead of you know going straight to running ads, uh, let's do a meet up and let me share with you. I mean that that works too, but um, it's that I mean, I mean that works. Uh, fuck man. I mean that works. That also works, but um, the problem is that you must be very uh, be a very good marketer. You need to have like really awesome copywriting and all that kind of stuff. You need to really know your um, your Facebook stuff and all that kind of uh, and all the other stuff, lah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video. And my suggestion here is to create a free information product for your dream customer to consume. I just said that, right? Once again, my suggestion is to create a free information product for your dream customer to consume. And the end goal is really for your dream customer to know, like, and trust you, so that you can help them ascend your value ladder. 
All right, so if you want to find out more about what I just talked about, it's actually all in this book called Dot Com Secrets. It's a book written by Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson is a, a co-founder of ClickFunnels, which is a company that is going to cross the one billion dollar mark very, very soon. So, and it's all based on the strategies that he has actually shared in this book. So, if you wanna um, read more about that it is on page 20 of dot com secrets and if you don't have this book yet you can get your hands on this book for free that's right you heard me right so this book is actually going for free at um russell brunson is giving away this book for free all you have to do is pay for shipping and if you want to get your hands on this and if you want this i'll leave a link in the description below um it is an affiliate link so you just you just have to be aware about that and yep that's all from me all right so if you like whatever you just saw please 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 give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so i can provide more of the same videos to you guys and i hope you guys have a very good day bye bye